Hello and welcome back to KSP Ad Astra. Today we have Munner Orbit EVA. That was my phone just going crazy. Um, yeah, today we've got the Metzli Hab EVA thing. This is basically the, the crux of today's episode. It is being launched on a Phoenix One and it will have an EVA module so that our crew can get out and basically service the station. Um, as we are currently building up our Mooner station, and that way we can uh, use it for permanent uh, settlement of the, you know, the solar system, I guess. But yeah, here we are. We've got our second stage currently making its way to orbit, or actually, this is our first stage still it's making its way to orbit. And I think we're gonna go completely orbital on this <laughs> on the first stage. Yeah, we are. Uh, our rocket is officially an SSTO. Um, but there we go. Here's our second stage going off and all the way to the Mun. So basically, it's just more of a HAB module, more things for things to dock to, and it has a special area for a solar truss. So we can build basically a large truss, kind of like the ISS has, and we can build out our solar panels because we do need more electric charge on that craft. But here we are with our re-entry burn. We're coming in over, uh, I was trying to get it so that we could go in over, uh, over the KSC, but we started just, the re-entry speed was too hot and I had to pull the brakes so that things wouldn't you know, explode. And yeah, here we are coming in over the mountains. Now, I don't know about you, but we're out of fuel, which isn't conducive to landing very well. And yeah, all just our engines are left for some reason. But our second stage is currently on its way to the mud. It has an encounter and it will be encountering the station in a short amount of time. We just have to do a slight correction burn. And there we go. There's our correction burn. And we are at the Mun's sphere of influence and we'll be doing our deceleration burn to capture around the Mun and encounter in one burn. Here we are. Uh, doing our encounter, but we overshot it by a long mile. Now, uh, fortunately, we have the second stage that I used to basically just zoom on over and detach that so we can get our, uh, basically our docking set up and then just got the docking camera out because I like the docking camera. And there we go, we are coming in close and then fixing up our angle and then boom, we are attached to the station. Now we can EVA to our heart's content and I used it to basically brick off those solar panels because uh, we don't need them. Uh, well, I mean, we do need them, just not right now. The, we'll, we'll have better use for them later. But I decided, hey, let's deorbit our uh our craft now there was a slight issue um i didn't do it nearly deep enough and it ran out of electric charge so it basically just orbited the earth a bunch this is the last pass through that you just saw it fade to this is it coming in and it hit the ground so basically i wasted like 30 minutes of it trying to deorbit just didn't happen uh we didn't recover it at all but yeah here we have uh astra 8 i believe and Astra 8 is going to Aurora Station. It has Billy Smith, Edith Petit, and Wilfred Schmidt on board. And basically, they are... Uh, they're basically going to go up there and be the first Kerbals to be stationed at this station. Here's the, uh, the first stage coming in for a landing burn. There it is. Slowing down. Well, that's the re-entry burn, I guess. But here it is coming in through the clouds, going about just over 100 meters per second, and boom, there it is, slowed down so it can reach the ground. 
Now, here we are getting our encounter. The encounter here was kind of a pain to get, but I mean, we have more than enough uh, fuel to uh, basically make the most of this encounter. As it is, uh, polar orbits are hard to reach. Like just polar orbits are hard and I currently have two stations in polar orbits and they they have just been difficult, um, which is one of the reasons why in an upcoming episode I am launching a uh, a G uh, or a Keo stationary orbit uh, like craft or station because that's just going to be so much easier. Um, it's just going to be so much easier than having to deal with all of this other stuff uh, because like. Polar orbits are hard, and they're hard to get to from the ground, especially when you have an equatorial uh, launch site. Yeah, it's it, it's just like a little awkward sometimes. But here we are, we are coming in to the station with our brave little Kerbals on board, doing this polar orbit, which I wish I could make sun synchronous because that's kind of how I launched it, but uh, that's not really how it goes. But here's our docking camera. You can see our station off in the distance. It's not a particularly large station compared to our one currently growing around the Mun's polar orbit. But this one is doing quite well. So here we are just rapidly approaching the small interior of this station. And we are coming in very closely. Uh, let's just turn our uh, turn our uh, angle. I don't know. We had to rotate our craft so that it looked better. That's literally the only reason why I did it. But here we are. We're coming in. And we are going to slow ourselves down just a little bit. So that we're not coming in too fast and we hit the station. Uh, but here we go and we are officially docked to the station. There's more than enough supplies on board to last us a couple days uh, so that we can get our life support system up here. Um, but we're not doing that in this episode. But here I am just checking on the, uh, the life support, uh, what's going on with it. But yeah, here we are. The final mission of today it is a her it is basically Hermes Minmus, which is also launching on a Phoenix One, because it's cheaper just to launch on Phoenix Ones right now. Plus, it is just the major workhorse of our fleet right now. The Phoenix One is currently bringing the Hermes up into the upper atmosphere and very soon off into orbit with its second stage. Now, the reason why we have the Hermes is because the Hermes Hermes is the messenger of the gods and well we need to communicate with our many many planned colonies and things like that now we don't have any colonies yet but we do need to communicate with probes and now we do have some probes we currently have a probe over Duna which is getting electric charge but we just can't communicate with it so we need to build out our relay network so that we can communicate with the probe around Duna. And yeah, it's, uh, it's just, it's something that we need to do. We need to get communications up with Duna so that we can communicate with this probe so we can get more science. It's, it's just what we need. But in the meantime, uh, we do need to basically just get our, uh, our encounter with Minmus, which I did this at a slight, in this orbit at a slight inclination so that I could get a, a, basically any encounter with um, Minmus that I wanted to, just the soon as possible encounter. Um, but man, inclination, <laughs> inclination orbits are hard. Uh, you have to launch at a certain time of day and things like that. It, it was just kind of odd. Uh, yeah, but here we are, we have an orbit, we have an encounter with Minmus, uh, which we can 
get a good deceleration burn. Granted, we want a more polar orbit and very, very, very um, eccentric orbit, uh, which is fine. But here we are basically going to perform our uh, slight correction burn and then our future capture burn. So, um, as we're going, uh, we're going to be getting our, uh, our burn here, but we accidentally passed the node and I didn't realize it cause I stepped away. Um, but I didn't have, I didn't activate the engine yet. So we have to actually do another burn. Um, then I was having trouble setting up the, the thing. But here we are. So this will have a highly inclined orbit. So for most of the time, it will have direct connection to Kerbin. And we will be able to communicate for basically most of the day, most days, with this satellite. Which if we put a couple of satellites in orbit around Minmus, they will all be able to communicate with each other for most of the day thanks to this satellite. Which is perfect and yeah this is about all i have time for today um thank you so much and i will see you guys next time